Hi, it's Joe from joecolantonio.com. In this video, we're going to check out how to post JSON to a REST service using SOAP UI. To make this example as easy as possible, without having to set up any sort of authentication, I've decided to use Apache's CouchDB. CouchDB is really easy to install and stores data as JSON documents. So this makes it an awesome application to use to help teach us how to uh, use REST with SOAP UI. So to download CouchDB, you just want to navigate to the main website and just click on download. Okay, so once you have the EXE downloaded locally to your machine, you just want to double click on it and accept all the defaults. Go to your stop programs and you should have an option for Apache CouchDB. Under Apache CouchDB, just double click on the Futon Couch web interface. Okay, so once you get to the overview page, you can actually create a database called SOAP UI that we'll use for this example. And that's all we really need to do. Let's just go back to the overview page. And notice how we now have a, a database under overview called SOAP UI. It has zero number of documents. Okay, cool. All right, so let's just start up SOAP UI. Once SOAP UI starts, let's create a new project. So right click on the projects and select new SOAP UI project. Let's call the project JSON and we'll take the default and just click on OK. So on our JSON project we just created, right click on it and select new REST service. And let's call the service name, once again let's call it JSON. And for the service endpoint we're just going to use the URL for our CouchDB instance and make sure you check the open dialog to create REST resource option. Click OK. So in the new REST resource dialog, uh, resource name, let's enter SOAP UI. And for the resource path endpoint, we're just going to give it the name of the database that we have. So the full path will be the URL for the CouchDB slash the name of our database, which happens to be SOAP UI. Click OK. OK, for the new REST method dialog, let's call this, uh, let's call it post JSON name. For the HTTP method, select post. Click OK. Let's expand our project now. So this is the part where most people get confused. Uh, notice under the request media type, uh, there's not an option for JSON. And so it's easy enough to fix, but it's not as straightforward as it should be. Um, in order to, to have the media type uh, for JSON, you just need to type it in. So let's type in application forward slash JSON. And so what we're going to do for our database, it, we're just going to send it a simple uh, uh, JSON value that contains a value name pair string. So type in the following. You could send it whatever value name pair that you like, but I'm going to use the name followed by my name, Joe Colantonio. So next, all you need to do is click on the submit request option. So if everything worked underneath the response section, you'll notice you have confirmation that it passed OK, and it gave you an ID that was created for that value pair. So let's just go back to our CouchDB database. Let's refresh this. Now notice under SOAP UI we have one rather than zero, so it did create a document for us. If we click on SOAP UI, notice it's the same uh, ID that we that was returned by the response in our SOAP UI request. And if we click on that ID, notice we now do have a record with the name field and the value Joe Calantonio that we passed it. Awesome. So that was just a really quick example of how you can use SOAP UI to test REST services using the POST method for JSON. Uh, notice how it wasn't as straightforward as it could be, uh, but just so you know, make sure you stay tuned to SOAP UI uh, Smart Bear because they're working on a new version of SOAP UI 4.6 that is supposedly going to be uh, really focused on REST testing. Once uh, 4.6 is released, I'll be posting some information on the new REST functionality. Cool, hope it helps.